Mentoring, simply put, is a personal investment in someone's personal capital as well as organizational contributions. It, it really helps the person in a whole holistic way, in other words, uh, mental, physical, emotional. And so it prepares them to realize all their potential. Many times, many, many times people don't really realize the potentials that are within them. So it's the mentor's role to find those potentials, harness them, and, and uh, help that person to see what those, those uh, goals and values and, and uh, gifts are, and then use them for not only their individual benefits, but for the benefits of that organization. Yes, I've had several, several um, positive experiences and the irony of it all is many of the more positive ones began in the more negative way where uh, you, you again uh, never realized uh, your weaknesses and, and many times there's a great fear of having those weaknesses exposed. Maybe you may not even recognize it at the time, but then your mentor comes along and helps you to see those and at the time, you may not really like those particular uh, revelations, but once they're brought to the front and once you've had the opportunity to uh, develop and to learn and to grow from that, then you realize that, that, were, that those were potentially the very, very best mentoring opportunities. Oh, I've had many peers mentor and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing that uh, many times we, we think that mentoring is a top-down or maybe even a horizontal experience. No, it can very much be bottom-up and many times it is bottom-up because that particular perspective uh, that, for example, you would get from an infant crawling on the ground can show you how just unsafe your home is. Uh, until you actually get down and, and really see where, uh, see the perspective from that infant, you really don't realize the safety hazards. I, 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 I pair that into a very interesting word, humility. And humility, which uh, when we talk about humus, which is where the word humility comes from, it means getting down, getting down to the earth and, and really seeing it from that particular perspective, and it meaning your world, your work environment, the other people you work with, your, your whole environment. And so the perspective that, that many times subordinates can give you is that perspective of humility. And so I've learned quite a lot and, and, um, and, and many humbling experiences from, from uh, my subordinates that unfortunately sometimes you may not think may have the answers or may not have the understanding or that wherewithal to actually um, get done what needs to be get uh, what needs to get done but nonetheless they're the ones that had the answers and do provide the very very best solutions so you learn that that um, uh, you can actually be mentored and guided and and um, you can gain a lot of wisdom from from everyone especially your subordinates Absolutely. I, I think probably one of the, the most memorable opportunities is uh, the first time I had to um, share with someone the, diff the difference between happiness and joy. Uh, this particular person, this particular mentee was, was pretty distraught. And uh, to sum it up, they just said, I'm just not happy. And I, I had the privilege of being able to help differentiate between happiness and joy. And I realized that, that uh, as I was sharing what was being developed even in that particular protege's heart and mind and mind, is that happiness takes you to what I call magnetic north, uh, which, which misses true north. Magnetic north is, is going with where your heart is, what you feel like doing, and, and many times it leads you in an area that Maslow called selfishness. Whether it's self-esteem or self-actualization, he really says it's about self. And I thought, interestingly enough, if we could get that particular person to vector towards a true north called joy, then it would become selfless. 
And I think that's why even in the Air Force, we came up with that particular core value, selflessness, because it is truly a vector that takes you to joy, where it's not about you anymore. It's always about someone else. And, and so uh, one of my favorite statements is, you were never created for you. And so that selflessness takes us to a place where we, 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 we don't pursue happiness. There's no such word called happyful, only joyful. And so the perspective is pursue joy. And so that happened to be uh, the, the anthem and the cornerstone of a lot of the advice that I've been given over the, giving over the years and have been given over the years in the way of our pursuit. Where is your true north? True north, and, and if, it, if it looks anything other than joy, maybe we might be a little bit off course. Absolutely. Well, again, yet another golden nugget in mentoring is fail to plan, plan to fail. And uh, one of the things that I would have probably done a whole lot sooner was to actually make a life plan, an actual lifeline, starting with where you are right now and in your life and making 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 year hacks. And, and, and all along that timeline, writing specific goals along the way. Because again, fail to plan, plan to fail. And as mentors and as protégés and as mentees, what we, what we don't want to do, none of us really get up every day and say, you know, I just got up today to fail. No, we, we are actually on a vector towards success. That's what we want, that's what we all hope to be and hope to do. If we are gonna to get to that true north of joy, it requires a plan. It requires a financial plan. It requires a family relational plan. It requires uh, a, a fitness plan. It requires an educational plan. It requires so much that if we neglect any part of that plan, uh, we'll know it <laughs> later on in life. And unfortunately, Time is not one of those things that you just undo. It is in fact the most valuable resource and that's exactly why. And so you, you, you cherish that resource, you use that resource of time and you use that hopefully to your advantage to have a better vector on how to get to that true north. Again, mentoring is, is such a, an amazing opportunity for success. Uh, unfortunately, even the very word success is, is very difficult to be defined by an individual and uh, one of the things a mentor can help and oftentimes should help in is the shaping and the definition of what success would look like for that particular person. Because you certainly uh, would not like to take a journey through your entire life and get to this particular place where you end up at a place called regret. And so mentoring helps vector, your to, vector you towards a place where you can truly say fulfilled.